A letter to God, class ten, English, first flight. Once there was a farmer in a Latin American country whose name was Lancho. He used to live on the top of a hill nearby a river. He has planted corn crops in his field, and he was hoping for a very good harvest, like always. And he is expecting for a rain shower. To nourish his field, to his utmost excitement, he saw the clouds approaching in the north sky. And yes, rainfall did happen. He was thrilled beyond joy and started comparing the raindrops with the silver coins. But soon the rainfall turned into a hailstorm, destroying his entire crop. He was hoping for it to stop and stop it from destroying his crops further. The instant jubilation turned into fear. The hailstorm was destroying all his dreams, a dream of a better future. What a scene was it when the hailstorm stopped. Lencho thought the locust could have been better. At least it would have left some crops behind. He witnessed all his hopes and dreams battered in a fraction of seconds. He couldn't sleep all night thinking about the bad luck that befell, and he didn't know what to do. But wow! What a thought it was to write a letter to God explaining him his situation. So he wrote, "Dear God," and asked for some financial assistance, say of hundred pesos at least. Thus, he went to town to post his letter, addressed to God. The letter, on being noticed by the postmaster, at first amused him, but then motivated him to do something for the farmer, so as to keep his immense belief intact. So he contributed from his salary and collects money from his colleagues and friends, who willingly contributed for an act of charity. But to his dismay, he could collect seventy pesos only. But still, then he wrapped it in an envelope to make it seem like a reply from the deity. On receiving the money, Lencho was not shocked but was angry. So again, he wrote a letter to God conveying his disappointment and distrust in the employees of the post office, who he thought, ironically, had stolen. The remaining amount. That's all for today. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Be back for more.